Well, hey, I'm gonna show you. So today, I'm gonna show you this Sony SLV D300P DVD VCR combo. Now, I'm filming in a different condition than I normally do because I set this up as a VCR I'm actually gonna use quite a bit, and I have also programmed the clock. That's 9:30 p.m. As you can see, it's dark outside. And yeah, when I got this, it was it said that the DVD that I mean the VCR side was not working, but the DVD side was, and so, but I managed to fix the VCR side. The issue was very simple: the pinch roller had actually come off of its normal assembly, thus it wasn't giving a it wasn't playing correctly. Yeah, but then it, and now that I, I guess let's show the inside. This is a Samsung tape transport, like I normally do. This is from the um, the same transport that's in like my Toshiba W four twelve VCR. And why did I get this? Because well, I wanted a combo with this mechanism. And I now have one. And I've also tested out both sides, and the DVD side also works, which is a rarity for combos like this. Usually only the VCR side works. But in this case, both sides work. Well, the VCR side wasn't working initially, but I fixed it and got it working. Okay, sorry for that little interruption, but let's get back. Where did I leave off on? I don't remember, but I'll just say that this was a Samsung transport, like I said, and I don't know what else to say. But the DVD side is working, which I like I said was a rarity. But I guess that's enough. Let me go get a tape. Now I'm I would normally use my knee and cat tapes, but those are out in my room, and I'm too lazy to go get those, so let me just get a tape from over in this pile. Let me get my gumball tape, which is right here. And as it is. And it has, has a counter on the front, which is nice. And it has... Auto, digital auto tracking. This also has inputs on the front. And this thing is actually smart. It'll auto switch. I'll, I might demo that later on. But let's, let's eject. Okay. Now let me get up close here. Here's the loading motor. Now let's eject. Now let's give a close up of the thing loading. We'll eject again. And hold on, I really should go and clear my camera's memory. Sorry about that, I had to go and clear my camera before it ran out of memory, but I also bought in a set of replacement batteries, in case they, these ones die, but let's get back to this. I left off on just showing the mechanism off. Now I'm going to show you the fast forwarding and rewinding. Now we'll press fast forward. And this VCR is very fast. It is very fast. And look at the counter. Now I'll stop it. Now I'll rewind it. It's going slower because it's closer to the beginning, so I can't get 
So I can't really give you the full experience unless I would actually to completely fast forward the tape to the end. But here we go. Now I'll give you one last look at that loading motor. And I guess I'll show the video quality. Hold okay, now to show the video quality, let me turn on my TV. Oh, and also, this is the remote. I, it didn't actually come with it, but I just got it because I really like this VCR and it didn't have a remote. And my Universal remotes, they didn't have the right functions that I want, needed to access things I needed to, so I just got the official remote. And it has the, that's the button to change the speed. I'm just far away. But now let's show the VCR quality side. I'm using the same tape and I'm gonna risk it. I'm just gonna hope that Cartoon Network doesn't ding me with copyright. But, which, I mean, it shouldn't because this is fair use, but that's a story for another time. Let's insert the tape. Walk over to my TV. It has an on-screen display. Now, now that's the tracking. Now this, now some things is that, I'm sure you can hear it even here, but this VCR has an issue with buzzing. Just listen to that. But the thing is, is that it only occurs with certain tapes. There's also a line here, but it's out of tracking. If I manually adjust the tracking, I can get a lot of the hissing to go away and even get that line to go away. I just have to adjust it up really high. Now please don't leave this video, this is just a commercial. I can get that thing, but the buzzing's still here, but I'll fast forward a little bit. Fast forward a little bit. And also, the, it's kind of t the buzzing tends to go away further into the tape, but like you still hear a bit of buzzing, but not much anymore. Okay, that's enough for that. Let me rewind it. Let me rewind it so I could watch this tape later. Now I'm going to do something that is sort of against my channel, but I thought I'd still do it. I'm going to show the quality on the DVD side. Let me put this tape back. And so let me get it one of these DVDs. These are just bars, color bars. So now, I'll press the DVD button. And now that's switched, and I'll also do this thing. I'll switch to the component input. I actually have the DVD side connected through component to show you what that, and I'll show you what that's like. Let me switch to component. Now, I'll show you the DVD. Here's a DVD that just has a bunch of, that just has color bars. The DVD side does work, otherwise I wouldn't show it. If that's on the component side. Loading. Now it's pl now it's gonna pl now it's playing. Now let me now let me play this. And I'll mute the audio because it is quite annoying, but here is what the DVD is like. It's amazing, especially on the component input. And this is royalty free, so I can show this without getting dinged with copyright. And that's enough of showing that. 
Now let me eject. And that's about it for this video. Goodbye.